Hi, I'm Todd and welcome to the Notepad Show. In today's episode, we're just simply going to go over how to configure ASUS globally so that you can use it with RenderMan and your DCC of choice. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is set the global environment variable. In this case, it's going to be in Windows 11. So we want to go to the settings. Go to system. Go to the bottom to about and then to advanced system settings. And here's where we set the environment variable. I've already have mine set, but I can delete them and set them again. So I'm going to hit new. And the first variable we're going to set is OCIO, all capitals. And that is the variable that the DCC, whether it be Blender or Houdini or Maya or Nuke, will read from to get its uh, config file. And now we're going to go look for the config file. Renderman comes with um, ASUS, uh, ASUS configuration. It is based on the very configuration file that you could download online. It has been changed slightly to be more adept at, at working with Renderman, but other DCCs use it and have no compatibility issues. I certainly haven't had any issues regarding ASUS CG, none whatsoever. So in this case, I'm using ASUS 1.3. And there's the config file. Here's the path. And I just hit OK. Make sure again the path is there. And it puts it in. Now we're going to create a second variable. Now the reason we have to create the second variable right now is because ASUS 1.3 does not work with the it viewer. The it viewer is only compatible with ASUS 1.2. So we have to explicitly tell it, hey, please use this configuration file for ASUS 1.2. The variable is a little bit different name. It's uh, IT underscore OCIO V1. And in this case, we want to go to ASUS 1.2 and then use its config file. Make sure it says ASUS 1.2, hit OK, and hit OK again, and one more time. You'll have to reboot for the changes to take effect, but once you come back online, if you go into your DCC and go to, in my case, Houdini, and I'm going into RenderMan and Houdini's OCIO settings, you'll see Houdini is now reading from the global config. If you had OCIO configured in the Houdini ENV file, I would comment that out. It will cause problems. So you only want to have OCIO declared in one place when you're using Houdini. Otherwise, there'll be conflicts and it could cause all kinds of problems. This is why we're doing the video. We're, we're doing it globally where you'll, all your DCCs will read from it. So now we're going to go into Blender and just simply show you that, yes, Blender is now using the OCI config. So in as long as RenderMan is the, the choice and you go to uh, the bottom under Color Management, you will see ASUS here. Okay. So that's sorted. And then if we go to the it viewer, and we go to window preferences and go to color management, we can also verify that the other variable that we set, that secondary one, that again, I don't know how long it will be before RenderMan works with ASUS 1.3. I'm assuming it'll be in 27. Um, but in the, in, in, in the meantime, it does require this separate variable. And you can see that it is reading from that variable and it's configured it properly with ASUS 1.2. And you'll see these color space setups right here. 
and you'll know right away that it's been set up properly. Anyway, I hope that you got a lot out of this video and thank you. Take care.